So I was thinking about doing a bank update video, maybe every month. I don't know. You guys let me know if it's something you're interested in. But this is a bank update for June 2018. I've since switched clients. I'm now on the Rune Light client, which I'm actually really enjoying. But the main reason for my switch was Rune Loader, my preferred client. They just basically took down everything. It doesn't even work anymore. So we're using Rune Loader now, but it does have a cool feature where if you hover over a stack of items, it shows you the value of them. So at the top, you can clearly see total bank value around 118 million. This is the highest my bank has ever been. I basically cleared out my bank value when I was getting 99 crafting. I think I was down to like less than 20 mil total bank value, but to see it, you know, go beyond a hundred million. That's really big for me and my account. So this first tab, it's just essentially junk items, um, some easy uh, diary rewards. Uh, my cash stack, 18 million. I don't keep a huge cash stack. Most of the, my money comes from selling Cerebrews, which I'll show you here in a minute. A couple of uh, tickets and marks of grace. Um, the Trident, I love this Trident. Everybody always asks me what this Trident is. It's a pretty cool item. Um, my one pet, still only one pet, I almost have 15 million fishing experience and no um, hair, heron or bird pet, however you say it. Um, so yeah, just some items and um, of course my uh, six skill cape. So the first tab, this is mainly fishing stuff. I've been fishing lately just cause I, I love the AFK on this account. I'll do other stuff on my computer while I'm fishing. So lately I've been at angler fishes and you can see this tab is about 9.5 million. Um, about 2k raw sharks, 1k cooked. Um, there you can see almost 2 million raw angler fish and uh, 1.75 million cooked. Got some other random fish too. That's the, uh, the bulk of the wealth. Uh, all these raw tunas, I <laughs> have over a million in raw tuna. And it was mainly when I was training fishing, I was using a D harpoon and doing the swordfish tuna spot. And uh, that was pretty much the fastest AFK experience I could get as a level three while fishing. Second tab, now this is a big one, 35 mil. And a lot of the value comes from the seed. So I've been doing birdhouses religiously since they came out because of the nest they provide as well as the seed. So you can see, I've got quite a good number of seeds, 2 million in palm tree seeds, 1.2 million in willow seeds, uh, 3.4 million in maples, 1.27 in magic, and uh, about 2.2 million in U seeds. So 31 U seeds, all from those uh, birdhouses, seven of the magic, 33 of the palm tree. So just um, quite a nice stack, pineapple seeds as well. I do buy my pie, papayas and calquat saplings as well as my mahogany saplings for farming experience. All these other seeds I don't use. I'm just letting them kind of collect. I think it looks cool. Um, this is pretty cool to see. Almost a thousand cactus spine and every time I do a birdhouse run, I teleport to the dual arena and pick some cactus spines. And you can see that really does add up almost six mil in um, cactus spines. And then here we've got my um, log collection, nothing too crazy. Uh, the biggest one is the redwood logs, which I did for 99 wood cutting um, over 11K. And I use these for the birdhouses. So most of my nests come from the birdhouses. However, I, lately I've had to buy some nests in order to make the brews. But uh, I do the toad flax so I can create Sarah Brews, which we'll get to in, an, in another tab. So here's basically my mining tab. You can see almost 30 mil in this tab, uh, 4.45 in runite bars. Uh, the rest of the bars I pretty much use down uh, for smithing experience. Um, got a good amount of gold bars. I still have some gold ore left I could do. It's not enough to gain another level, but you can see it's about two mil worth. And I've collect, I've kept everything I've smith lately. So you can see almost 80K dart tips, mithril dart tips for a worth about 6.1 mil. And then for the adamant dart tips, 43K of those 
for eight point almost eight point seven mil. Dragon pickaxe, of course, is about four mil. And I've got a lot of one sip one sip stamina pots. This is for blast furnace mainly. Um, so I can just easily access those. Here is uh, my teleport gym tab. You can see almost 12 mil. I, I just bought these from the G. I like having a lot of teleports on hand. Um, here's my uncut gym collection. I'm really proud of this. A lot of this is from Motherwood Mining. I just collect all the gems in a gym bag. And also I've been using my gold nuggets to buy those gym bags where you get the random gems. So the, they do add up. Also, oh yeah, uh, battle staffs. I've been bat buying battle staffs lately, trying to do that daily. And uh, 1.8 mil in those. Herd tab, only about 6 million. I've got a ton of stamina pots still. When I traded in my Marks of Grace, I made a ton of those pots. Always good to have on hand. Here are the Sarah Brews. So like I said, I'm farming toad flax. Now I'm using the bird's nest uh, to create the pots. So essentially I'm getting the pots very cheaply. And when I get about 150 of these, I sell them on the GE. Typically about 700K cash comes back to me. It takes me like four or five days probably to get to that amount. I get about 30 to 40 uh, toad flax per herb run. And then uh, here are just a bunch of random secondaries. Nothing too much of value, but uh, most of the values here is coming from the stamina pot uh, collection. Um, and then we just got random herbs here. I'm um, trying to see my biggest stack. Probably the Ranar weeds. And a lot of those were actually coming from the herbivores. I was just collecting those. So uh, pretty cool to see. Where's my... Um, there's Torstool. I got about 20 of those. Okay, this is the rune crafting tab. Just got a lot of random runes. A lot of these runes were from the maze event. Some of them I bought just to get over a thousand to make it look better. I have about 27,000 lava runes, 37k rune essence. A lot of dueling rings. I got that this in this tab. So when I'm doing those runs, I can uh, easily get a fully charged ring of doing here's my clue uh reward tab these are all rewards i've gotten from clue scrolls i like to collect them so all these i've gotten from easy and medium clues and then uh at the bottom here is just random clothing items that you need for the clue scrolls uh, a couple different ambulance and all of these rings are from bird's nest so 427 sapphire rings uh almost 200 emerald rings you can see there and then also i have an elite and a hard clue scroll i just keep them there uh so i don't get repeats here's kind of my junk tab i just got some random arrows and stuff some um costume rewards from random events uh 10k burn sharks this is when i was training cooking a while back i just kept all the burn stuff here random fossils that i can't quite use yet so at some point, I hopefully I can use these to complete those rewards and get those XP lamps that I want to use on Slayer, of course. And then here's just another random tab, uh, some fossils, some um, bracelets of Ethereum, uh, and some teleport jewelry that isn't full, just some random ones. And then if I get, you know, loot paths, or I think this, bat this uh, battle axe was actually from a clue scroll. So that's the bank for June 2018. Like I said, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know down in the comment below. Thanks for watching.